on uh, uh, Retro Ralph's YouTube. Uh, it's like I think it's a uh, Arcade One Up Weekly. Anyway, they had John yeah. D on, and yeah. uh, they specifically asked him about, "Hey, what do you think about you know the competition, uh, especially specifically the Wi-Fi capability of being able to download more games?" And what John had said was that, uh, "Look, this is our wave one." We think it's going to do good and may maybe may result in more. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. But just like complete brain fart there. Yeah, may result in other tabs <laughs> coming out. Um, and it, maybe those will have Wi-Fi. He said, but the these cabs do have a micro USB port on them. Uh, previously, they were saying that they started installing those in all of the arcade one-up cabs for the purpose of. Rather than having to send out new boards, they could just firmware upgrade. Firmware updates. Yeah. yeah. And that if they came out with, say, another Star Wars cab that now you could download the remaining Star Wars tables on them, that via USB you would be able to uh, update do the this on the, on the Gen 1. Get it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Which, in this is you know question for whenever the next time we get John D to actually grace our presence, but... Would it be a situation where you bought the Star Wars cab and it would just be the remaining Star Wars tables that you would be able to download? And if you bought mm. the Marvel cab, it would just be the remaining Marvels. And then if you bought the uh, Attack from Mars Bally cab, Williams. it would just be the Bally Williams. Or mm. would it start being you could just buy pick and choose and have it Anything. be a giant multi kid? I think they need to keep it on brand. I do too. Uh, I think it's going to definitely be on happy. brand. Yeah, they need to do it for the licensors. Uh, to to make him happy, I think. And I, I so. he also mentioned that they are trying to hammer out a deal with Universal. So hmm. hopefully that goes through, so they can get a Universal cab out there. My hope would yeah. be that they hammer out a deal with Fox, so we can get an Aliens cab because that's what I would want. <laughs> Wouldn't, you? Wouldn't that be nice? That would be that would be pretty special. I yeah. don't have a lot of confidence that we'll ever see a Zen Originals cab. I just don't think there'd be the demand for it. Um, they need to do a lot of work on those older tables as well to make that something that I would actually want to pay money for. Because... Well, but it's also something... And Okay, so there there turns out to be, and we're learning this with... I, again, learned it from that uh, same thing from Retro Ralph. The Arcade 1-Up makes the cabs and presents them to the retailers, and the retailers go... Yeah, we want to put that in, or yeah, we don't think that's going to sell. Mm. And a, then that winds up surprising retailers. So they were talking about the Golden Axe uh, cab. Retailers weren't interested. They threw it up on the Arcade One Up website for sale there, and blew them out. And then the retailers went, "You know what? Oh, uh, maybe we do those. want those." <laughs> yeah, we would like a little slice of that pie, thanks. And yeah. not only did they then say, "Okay, fine." You can have that, but then they wound up being a hundred dollars more because that's the fee that a retailer charges. So, in terms of the uh, pinball cabs from Arcade One Up, the 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 the, the uh, Marvel pinball is going to be GameStop and uh, I think Best Buy. Best Buy, okay. Star Wars is going to be Walmart. Attack from Mars is going to be .com only from Arcade 1-Up. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that the Attack from Mars table is only going to be $500 instead of the... Uh, wait, is that what my price point is? Yeah, $500 instead of the $550. Um, Why do you think that? Because they're not having to... Uh, retailer not hey, having Marvel. to get their cut. Oh, okay, right, yes. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. So mm. we'll have to see. Get your pre-orders in if you're uh, really down for that. We'll find out <laughs> exactly from when what that's I've all. Been reading, from what I've been reading online, that's the one that everyone wants anyhow. Like, they want these Belly Williams tables. I'm torn. On... I'm oh, torn I... because, honestly, I... And this is me basing it off of the idea of me having this Street Fighter Two cab there. Uh, it's not something that I ever wanted to play on my PC, so I didn't have. Mm. It was just like didn't interest me. But having it sitting there, right there, it interests me. 
Mm-hmm. Um, when I play Zen, I always go straight to the Bally Williams tables. I don't really play much of the other stuff. But if all of a sudden I had a cab that was nothing but marble tables, I'd probably all of a sudden find myself playing a lot of marble pinball. Um, you think? So you reckon it would actually draw you into that that ecosystem that you it would. just don't normally gravitate towards? And But yeah. then there's the problem of I like the Star Wars cab better because I think it's more timeless in whatever room you put it in. Mm. But I don't like the Star Wars tables as much as I like the marble tables. Um but ultimately, yeah, I too want the the Bally Williams one more than anything yeah. out there. Because so. it's just got it's got the street appeal. Like it's it like if you, you see these in arcades. Yeah. So you, you don't see the marble and you don't see um the, the Star Wars tables anywhere apart from alleged probably Dave and Busters, but <laughs> only by virtue of Zen putting him in a cabinet there. Um but you know if you were able to get these tables in your house on a thing that takes, you know, next to no, no time to warm up, like that's what I'd be wanting in my lounge room, really, mm. on a long term basis. I probably also enjoy, like you, getting the marble tables and actually just having them there just so I could switch on and play. And I can guarantee you that my kids would also really like those tables being mm-hmm. accessible to them as well. They would have a ball. Yeah. So, you know, there's. In classic arcade one-up style, it'd be a threesome for sure. <laughs> like you'd have to make room for three, right? So yeah, 